Hey everybody, so again excuse the voice, I'm still not very well, which is why I haven't been streaming, but I'm trying to get some content out from my sick bed basically. So all this is, is the Georgia Guidestones. Now we've covered it on several live streams, we've done some live research, we've even had Tommy aka that flat fellow as a roving reporter at the actual Guidestones reporting for snoopy news i will link that in the description it's a it's a brilliant piece and i'm surprised it hasn't got many views but tommy's actually there at the guide stones for us right so a tiny bit of background even though we've done some live research i've not really done a good decent video on these for a while and so many people in the uk have never heard of them all the time Excuse me, sorry. I'll say to people, like, at the moment, what's happening in the world, which we're not allowed to talk about, I'll say to people, if you think that this is all a conspiracy, just look at the Georgia Guidestones. They're telling us, and they'll go, what are they? Oh, they're these monuments that were put up in 1980 in a random field, um, and they've got 10, 10 brand new commandments. It's like the start of a brand new religion, just like Christianity. Um Ten Commandments in all these different languages. It even points to the stars. There's a little hole in there that whatever time of day, whatever time of night, you look through the hole, you see the North Star. And if we're on a spinning ball, then how is that possible? Just saying. So I think the people that did that are trying to disclose more than just the Ten Commandments and the fact that these stones can withstand an apocalypse. But anyway, this isn't about the flat earth, but I'm just saying these people, when I tell them, go, don't be so stupid. They have no idea. And this is the thing, you see. This this is real, okay? This is there. People visit them. So I'm going to bring the Ten Commandments. And for those of you that have never heard of it, which I don't think there will be many on this channel, your mind will be blown. For those of you who do know what it is, it's just a refresher. And I think now, in 2021, that refresher is more important than ever. <laughs> So here we go. The creators of this monument have chosen to remain anonymous. And the man who conveyed the instructions to the Aberton Granite Finishing Company 19 miles away used a pseudonym. Obviously, it cost a pretty penny to produce, pretty penny and all, and install. Purposely, you can't speak. The group behind this had spent 20 years in the planning. The inscriptions are in the following languages. English, Spanish, Zvihale, Hindu, Hebrew, Arabic, traditional Chinese and Russian. The Ten Commandments inscribed are as follows. Number one. Maintain humanity under 500 million in perpetual balance with nature. Let that sink in, folks. Number two, guide reproduction wisely, improving fitness and diversity. Number three, unite humanity with a new, a living new language. Number four, rule passion, faith and tradition and all things with tempered reason. Number five, protect people and nations with fair laws and just courts. Number six, let all nations rule internally, resolving external disputes in a world court. Number seven, avoid petty laws and useless officials. Number eight, balance personal rights with social duties. Number nine, prize truth, beauty and love. Seeking harmony with the infinite. And number ten, be not a cancer on the earth. Leave room for nature. Leave room for nature. So, with this... Um, now, let's just bear in mind, let's just say the apocalypse happens and everything gets blown up. 
and gone or whatever. I don't know. Don't want to think about it really. Um, or maybe there's a deadly virus and it kills everybody. So nothing gets blown up, but there's no bugger left. And the ones that are left have got nothing else in the world apart from some stones. Let's just say that happened. They're not bad instructions apart from the first three. They're the worrying ones, in my opinion. Maintain humanity under 500 million, which is half a billion, in can't speak, perpetual balance with nature. Now, as many of you are aware, there is a Master Bates, which we can't say his name because the algorithms will pick this up. He also wanted to get rid of, I think it was a third, the bull population, which is obviously not as much as this. But he's not probably hoping for an apocalypse. He's just got his own little um, ways of trying to get that down, which we can't talk about, but it's happening right now. So this is worrying because whoever did it obviously would like to get it down. Number two, guide reproduction wisely, improving fitness and diversity. Would this have anything to do with the fact that the... Um, how do we word this now, folks? The prick uh, possibly can affect, allegedly, possibly, maybe reproduction, possibly, maybe, allegedly affect RNA and DNA adjusting our DNA. So could that be this improving fitness and diversity because we all know what diversity is as Sadiq Khan says diversity is our strength remember so if that's the case does that mean that we all have to be diverse and we all have to look the same hmm interesting and improving fitness now again genetics DNA is this all about changing the human race hybridization with animals there'll be another i'm going to be doing another video soon on the current netflix series sweet tooth there's a lot of disclosure in that show number three is unite humanity with a living new language now again this is the globalist's dream to have one language across the entire world this is like literally a wet dream for globalists so we have everyone looks the same we only have under 500 million so there's not many people to worry about feeding but just enough to be slaves to the system and do what they're told and do all the nasty jobs that they don't want to do and also we get a new language so but they'll literally be the gods you know they'll create the language there'll be one there'll be a new religion i think i'm going to delve a little bit deeper into that as well I have my own thoughts on what happened recently in the Middle East with the destruction of many churches and mosques, um, history, artifacts gone. I don't think that ISIS were doing it for fun, but that's a different story. It's a different video. We've got to be very, very careful, which is why I'm literally wording this in such a way to try and avoid the bots that are listening for the certain words. Hopefully, you're all with, you're all with me and catching my drift. If you're not, then possibly this video isn't for you. If you're not with me yet, if you are struggling, drop me an email. Emails in the description box. Just drop me an email, and I'll explain it in there. Um, if you know, if you're new to my channel and you're new to this sort of stuff, but. I don't think there are many people that are here that won't know what I'm talking about right now. But there you go. So those are the three that are quite concerning. Now, the others are actually quite OK if you didn't have the first three. So rule with passion, faith, tradition. So, you know, that sort of that doesn't bode with the, the first one and the first two which is improving fitness and diversity 
and one language. Now, how can you have faith and tradition when you've only got one language? So were they talking about a new faith and a new tradition? But then traditions are about the past. So anyway, number five is protect people and nations with fair laws and just courts. I'm agreeing with that. Number six is about let all nations rule internally, resolving issues and then external disputes in the world court. I agree with that as well. So they're not all bad. And number seven is my favourite. Avoid petty laws and useless officials. Yeah, great. Number eight, balance personal rights with social duties. Yeah, let the people have some common sense. Let them decide. Let them have their own human rights, but let them use their common sense to not hurt others without having to micromanage everybody like the governments currently are. And then the truth, the beauty, the love. Now, I don't get the beauty bit. Are they saying that we all should be beautiful and amazing looking? Because if that's the case, are they on about calling all the ugly people and all the fatties? You know, what does that mean? Um, love, I'm okay with that. And harmony with the infinite. Mm, what's the infinite? It depends what you're talking about. Is it is it the creator? Or are they going to have this new infinite? Is Mr. Masturbate going to be the new god? Who knows? I don't know. Um, and then number 10 is be not a cancer on the earth. Well, OK, I'm good with that. Leave room for nature. But they have to repeat it again, which is a bit bizarre. But they wanted to make it sound a little bit more um, flamboyant, maybe. I don't know. But there you go. So those are the Ten Commandments. Now, I say this, this, this thing's been knocking about since I was born in 1980. I think it was just before that, in 1979, it got commissioned and put into a field. I think the people that had the field were promised they could leave their goats grazing on it or something. Um, very strange story that we've covered before. But a lot of it says here, a lot of it sounds nice, but one gets a little concerned about the first two, which is what I said, well, the first three. Especially, I'm curious how they propose to reduce the Earth's population by 7 billion in order to fulfil their concept of balance with nature. Now, bear in mind, this article was written in go back let's go back oh, this was oh my goodness my birthday weird um in 2020 so it had all started then the shit had all hit the fan but some of these you know these articles were written many years before the current um, situation that we can't talk about um, which is just ludicrous, because if it's such a situation, then why can't we talk about it? But anyway, it, the mind boggles. If, if I try and get my head around the current censorship on YouTube and all the ins and outs of it, I'll end up as a basket case, because none of it makes any sense, none of it. Even the stupid sheeple are questioning what they're doing, but they still do it. But anyway, that's new, neither here or there. There's nothing we can do. We cannot educate stupid. So you got to wonder why. People aren't talking about this. Now, if they put a news flash on the BBC or the old Sky News or Fox News or ABC or whatever they're called over there, CNN, and said these commandments, people would actually be like, what the? You know, like we know, but the average people who don't have a clue what this is. So why don't they do that? Why don't they talk about it? It, it's all bizarre but you know what do you think because i agree with the last sort of like seven now but if you don't agree with the first one then i'm guessing the other lot are pointless because that ain't never going to happen is it no one's going to be able to avoid petty laws and useless officials because even if we did get rid of petty laws and useless officials you're going to get criminals doing doing criminal activity at a lower level and then they go into higher level you know you cannot just leave the people to police themselves because they're too stupid but if you have the first one and you get the population of the world down to below half a million sorry half a billion even sorry then it's all doable but what do you think is the current situation related to this is this happening right now? Are we in the apocalypse? What is going to happen to those that have been pricked? Are they a ticking time bomb? Are the ones that haven't been pricked, the 500 million remaining people? It's going to be an interesting time, folks. It really is. I hope to God that this isn't that. I pray that all the people that have had the prick, I know many of you have on my channel, are not going to be 
the lambs to the slaughter. My own family have had it. And everyone has got their own right to make that decision. What I don't agree with is the forcing of it. And I also don't agree with people that are being coerced and brainwashed. I think that we should all have a, a free mind to make our own decisions. And given all the correct information without propaganda. But anyway, I've got to be really careful. As you know, I used to cover all of this stuff on Penny Bunny, which is now gone. And some of this channel, which was on Two Strikes, which I'm not anymore. So this video is about the Georgia Guidestones. But what I'm trying to get here is there are little things that are happening right now. Big things. Are they linked? And also the little hole that points to the North Star is very intriguing. Anyway, folks, what do you think? Let me know in the description box. Again, drop me an email if you want any more information. I would love to talk freely here. But at the moment, until we move to another platform, which is in the process, we can't. So we have to do what we have to do. So there's more coming up. Um, lots more things like this where we can sort of skirt around the issue and just sort of use code. Um, and yeah, and I'll check the video out in the description box of when Tommy visits the Georgia Guidestones for an exclusive snoopy news. Right then, folks, I'll see you all on the next one. For now, take care. Lots of love. Bye.